Up next, the Bucks taking on the Nuggets. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they have a grip on third place in the Eastern Conference, and they don't seem to be letting go. Nuggets, Bucks, up next. We're back in a moment. Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill and Brent Perry. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some stats for Nikola Jokic. Over the past five games, his assist totals have been slipping. He and his teammates just don't seem to be clicking right now. Hopefully that's something he can correct tonight. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. The heavyweights for this team, Middleton and Giannis at forward. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Nuggets, manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. Gordon and Jokic, the combo inside. And it's Porter in at the three, the small forward. One thing each of these teams can do is pass the rock, Grant. We should see a lot of ball movement tonight. Hey, sharing is caring. And of course, there's great chemistry on both teams. There's such a flow to this game when they get together. And we're going to see some terrific team basketball tonight. I can't wait. So the Bucks win the tip. Now Middleton. On to Kumpo, a screen on Porter. Here's Middleton. It's good. Well, at 235 pounds, Middleton is hard to throw off balance, so he can take that contact and still finish through. Now here's Murray. Out to the wing. Jokic against Lopez. Rejected by Lopez. Pass to Lillard. Lopez, the screen. The three is up. Rebound by the Nuggets. They came away with a victory in their last meeting, which, by the way, was also in this building. And they really threw their weight around last time. They got to the free throw line a lot, and it helped secure the win. No doubt that's what made the difference. The aggression they showed, attacking, drawing contact, it got them points at the line and made foul trouble a big concern on the other side. On to Kumpo, the pass to Lillard. And Contavious Caldwell Pope picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Uh, kind of a ticky tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. We played just over a minute here in the first. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. Here's Middleton. Cash money on the open jump shot. Middleton only takes a second to get that shot off. Such a good catch and shoot game. Lillard against Murray. Outside for Porter. Caldwell Pope with it. Giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game. Five on the clock. Here's Jokic. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. And the concentration from Jokic, spectacular. Just shrugging off that contact.
And so it's Milwaukee with it, coming off a win against the Hornets. And in that one, the bench came to play. He gave the team a bunch of points and energy to put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that win. Well, Brent, when you talk about Giannis Antetokounmpo, still one of the league's elite players. An unbelievable B.A., the way he started off his career. You felt like there was an end to his improvement. That hasn't been the case. Just a strong work ethic, his desire to compete every day that he's in the gym, and the guy keeps getting better. That's scary. off on the first. How is it that Giannis always seems fired up? I mean, this guy has a true enthusiasm for the game and for competition. He just delivers night in and night out. That's what makes him a star. Second free throw is good. You know, Grant, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, they play in a sports crazed state in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin definitely loves their football, but Milwaukee also goes hard for their Bucks, which is a big reason for their recent success, B.A. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Three point lead. Ana Kumpo looking it over. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Well, defense knows Giannis demands 100% effort, but he's still managing to carve him up. The Nuggets have gone one of four to begin this one. Pass to Gordon. Now here's Murray. And here's Jokic. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now here's Lillard. 26 points for him last game against Charlotte. And more impressive to me than his scoring was his playmaking. Really an all-around offensive clinic. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. Murray finds Gordon. Order in the post. Middleton covering. Here's Caldwell Pope. Drains the triple. Porter Jr. moving the ball well. Nice to have a wing player help to be a facilitator. Milwaukee in the lead. Now here's Lillard. A top tier score, averaging a little under 25 points a contest. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. He'll go on Michael Porter. Kind of amazing that Lillard wasn't a big-time prospect at a high school friend. Well, size had a lot to do with that, B.A. And then Damian Lillard, it's, it's hard to scout Will. And he certainly has loads of that. Not many guys have a feel for the game like Dame does. The first one falls. With the majority of the season behind a sprint, the hierarchy of the league is becoming much more clear. Yeah, hard to find B.A. surprises at this point in the season. For the most part, we know the identity of each team. But there's still time for a couple of these squads to make a late surge. And so he's able to get one of two. And finally getting to full strength last season, the Nuggets showing how great they can be, Grant. Well, the franchise's first ever championship, B.A. And you look at all their top players just entering their primes. Plenty of runway left ahead of them. We hear that label unicorn thrown out there a bit these days. But Nikola Jokic, he is truly one of one, Brent. Yeah, incredible to watch the way that Jokic is able to control the game and pick his spots, B.A., to impact it, whether that's Take by break. rebounding Take the ball break. and playing physical, dishing the ball and making some assists happen, or shooting the ball from the three-point line. What a complete package he is. The free throw drops for Jokic. 
Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. And Jokic drops them both. Well, it's so hard to try to defend Joker. You never know what it is that he's going to do. And because of that great vision, he's got great count. Now here's Middleton. Checking the numbers. He's averaging close to 15 a game. Fades. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Well, Mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Here's Caldwell Pope. They kick it out to Murray. Connects from downtown. He's got a confident shot going right now as Jamal stepping into that three ball. Lillard outside. Middleton passes to Lillard. Lopez, the screen on Murray. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Denver's gone two for four from range to start things off. Pass to Jokic. Jokic, the screen. Murray passes to Caldwell Pope. Six to shoot. Jokic, the screen. There's the triple. Giannis with the rebound. Practically a block. <laughs> Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Now here's Middleton. The three. Here's Lillard. And so far in this one, two for four. And one of the quickest triggers in the West. Lillard says, now you see it, now you don't. For Denver, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. Murray passes to Jokic. Hangs in the air. Here's Caldwell Pope. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Caldwell Pope's got six. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. The Bucs have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Here's Lillard. He's got seven. That's his third basket in five shots. Solid work. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. The Nuggets trail. Murray scanning the floor. Jokic with a screen on Lillard. Over to the left wing. Order the pass to Gordon. Lock it four. And the Nuggets hit again from the... Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Beasley against Caldwell Pope. And here is Hanada Kumpo. He picked up 15 in their last win against Charlotte. Felt like he had a sense in that game that the defense was being over-aggressive, and he tried to take advantage of that. He continually frustrated them throughout the night and got to the free throw line. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Six points for him. They kick it out to Murray. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. And so it's Ana Kumpo with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. It's a five-point game. And they double up Ana Kumpo. Murray against Lillard. The Bucs need to get up a shot here. Lopez for three. Yes. Great play by Lillard to set it up. You don't expect that Brooke Lopez would be the guy to respond with a three-pointer. He did so there. For Denver, they've got seven of 11 shots to find the mark. Now Caldwell Pope. Murray for three. Lillard pulls down the board. Anadokounmpo outside. Pass to Lillard. Anadokounmpo with it. Beasley outside. Here's the three. The shot comes out. Outside Murray. Now here's Jokic. Covered by Lopez. Fade away. And again, it's Denver converting. 
Milwaukee has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Beasley against Caldwell Pope. Middleton outside. Buries it from three. Middleton's got seven. Well, the find from the off guard Beasley there would like to see more of that. Timeout, timeout. Malik working the ball around. Now a timeout called by Denver. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. And the Nuggets will go for a different look here. Naji, he's checked in for Jokic. Watson comes in for Gordon. Brown's checked in for Michael Porter. And it's Jackson in for Caldwell Pope. Now here's Jackson. Eight points in his last timeout. Portis with it. Pass to Lillard from deep. It's rebounded by Najee. The Nuggets have gone eight for 14 from the floor. Murray with it. Now guarded by Beverly. And Jamal Murray hits from deep. He's got nine. Oh, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Now here's Middleton. He's got seven. From behind the arc. Rebound by the Nuggets. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Denver. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. Love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. Jokic is checked in for the Nuggets. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Connaughton's checked in. And Murray drops them both. And the one thing about Jamal Murray, Brent, you know he's not afraid of the big moments. Nah, and it felt really good just as a basketball fan, B.A., to see Jamal Murray return to those big moment kind of plays that we got used to while the teams were in the bubble. Certainly a rising star and a guy that gets dangerous the bigger the game gets. Now here's Beverly. Still without a bucket. Count it. Patrick Beverly could do that in close, finds a way to get that one up, and you know he likes to score. It doesn't happen a ton, but he loves it. Murray against Beverly. Murray passes to Jokic. To the middle. They kick it out to Murray. Pass to Brown. Takes the three. Browder grabs the miss. The Bucks trail. Middleton outside. Now Portis. And here's Crowder from the arc. Gets the three to fall. Important for this offense to have a perimeter threat that's being provided for them right now by Jay Crowder. Murray against Beverly. Pass to Jokic. Over Portis. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist by Murray. Murray's got three assists now in this one. A chance at a two-for-one if they'd like. And I really can't see why they wouldn't. Connaughton outside. Now here's Middleton, guarded closely. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. To the paint. Here's Watson. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Oh, what a look. Jokic already joined the list of NBA's greatest passing big men. No doubt about that. Now here's Middleton. Defense right on him. Launches it. And another three for Milwaukee. Middleton looking pretty comfortable right now playing in the pick and roll, whether it's 
passing the ball or shooting it, right now making good decisions. Jamal Murray, he's been the guy making things happen for the Nuggets. He dropped three threes in that quarter. They haven't found an answer for him yet. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, guys, what do you think about the Nuggets here in this one? We all know good ball movement is what most coaches harp on, and their passing's been excellent so far. Well, everybody just feeling the energy of the basketball as they moved it around, and lots of hands were touching it. We've got Jackson, Christian Brown out there with Nikola Jokic, and it's Strother in at the two. That's the group for Denver getting going in the second. Milwaukee has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Pass to Middleton. Now here's Beverly. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got four rebounds now. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Michael Porter Jr. never lacks for confidence in his jump shot, but he said, offense for me should be an autopilot. I should be focused on the intangibles, the defense, the rebounding, the dirty work. That involves you in the game. Brian, the buy-in and the commitment to the little things has not gone unnoticed. Yeah, I love that. That's a great point. Thanks, Ali. Pass to Jackson. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Here's Brown. Here's Jokic, defended by Portis. The Nuggets need to get one up. There's Jackson with the three. He buries it from three. Jackson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Crowder with it. Now here's Middleton. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. Well, Middleton on the higher ground here in this one tonight, shooting it well. To the inside. Pass to Watson. Three-pointer. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got six assists in the game. It's Middleton on the wing. He's got 12. Gets it. He's six for 10 and looking confident out there. Denver in the lead. Well, Brent, the past several years have been the brightest in Nuggets history. And it makes perfect sense. I mean, B.A., you go out and you find a, a player that elevates everybody else, a guy who becomes the two-time MVP. The talent on the roster has taken strides. They've done a great job in the draft process. It's great to see Denver becoming a legitimate powerhouse in the Western Conference. Now here's Middleton. 14 points for him. Here's Crowder. Defense is right there. Connerton finds Crowder. Five to shoot. Puts up a three. Another miss by Middleton. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Beverly against Jackson. Here's Brown. Fires in the triple. Brown's got his first three points of the game. A really good job by Reggie Jackson just finding the shooter and feeding him. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Brad, you had a terrific mid-range game. It feels like more players are going back to that now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers. But that makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range.
changes. Beasley's checked in for Crowder. And Lillard subbed in for Beverly. Here's Beasley. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. The three. Here's Lillard. Sinks the tray. And Lillard can knock these things down in his sleep. He makes it look so easy. Lillard against Jackson. Pass to Gordon. Here's Brown. Here's Jokic. 23 points for him last game against Sacramento. With three steals in the night, he helped them in a big way. So it's Milwaukee now. And here's Lillard. Unable to get that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Gordon against Lillard. Pass to Beasley. And here's Middleton. Here's Portis. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Great finish by Portis. No stranger to having to overcome some of the physical play out there. And so Jackson Jr. will bring it up for the Nuggets. Six-point lead. Here's Brown. Back to Jackson. Here's Brown, covered by Connaughton. Here's Jokic. Four on the clock. Jackson for three. That falls. Nice speed from Jokic. Jackson's got six points in the quarter. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Middleton against Gordon. Pass to Beasley. Middleton outside. Portis with it. Covered by Jokic. Beasley for three. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got five rebounds in the game. Spins. Jackson, the pass to Caldwell Pope. And he's going for the oop here. And the ball out of play. The Bucks will have it. Well, Brent, everyone has a three-point shot now, but Caldwell Pope is a true sharpshooter. Yeah, this guy can really get the job done from the three-point line, and coaches appreciate the stability that he brings to them on the defensive end. What a great plug-and-play two-guard in the NBA. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Denver. Murray comes in for Jackson. Now here's Middleton. 14 points for him. Pass to Lillard from the arc. Striking from deep range, Dame. And now he's dropped two three-pointers in each quarter. Denver has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Time now out, a timeout time called by Denver. You know, when you look at Chris Middleton, Sorry. Brent, he's been a competitor every way you slice him. No doubt worked himself into a multiple-time All-Star in the Eastern Conference and one of the most consistent small forwards in the league. Also an NBA champ. I just hope his health can hold out. And let's see which point guards have been locked in from the foul line this past month. Second, Damian Lillard. This is just one of the things you want out of your point guard. Reliability at the charity strike. Well, you look back at the NBA's free throw percentage leaders over the years, and so many of them have played the point guard position, mostly because they do a great job of penetrating, getting into the lane, and consistently draw fouls. So the more you take, the more you make. And it's Jokic. That time on the assist by Murray. Jokic has got 16 points now. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Milwaukee has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Lillard finds Middleton. Beasley for three. Rebound by the Nuggets. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Jokic. Outside Murray. The three. And another 
a three for Denver. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Now here's Beasley. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Charlotte. For three, here's Lillard. And that basket makes him six for 11, shooting a good percentage. Oh, five threes this half. The D can't contain this guy. Pass to Jokic. Shoots over Portis. That one rolls around and rims out. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Now here's Middleton. 14 points for him. And showing why he's so respected around the league. Lillard lighting it up. Lillard against Murray. Gordon with a screen on Lillard. Murray from outside. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got rebound number five here tonight. Beasley against Jokic. Beasley pass to Portis. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Chris Middleton. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. That free throw good from Portis. Grant, when teams come to play the Denver Nuggets, it's not just another regular game in a normal city. Yeah, I mean, the altitude of the mile-high city is an adjustment for many players, B.A. Even if some guys say it doesn't affect them, don't let them fool you. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Trust me, I know. Watson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Both free throws, good from Portis. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? He's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Murray from outside. It's hauled in by Portis. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Beasley, pass to Connaughton. Pass to Lillard for three. Sir, you can count on Dave from deep. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Timeout, timeout. Now a timeout called by Denver. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Checked in for Watson. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Beverly, he's checked in for Connaughton. Now Murray. 
He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Kings in Sacramento. Rejected by Kumpo. Beverly for three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Porter's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Murray. Stop the drought. Yep, that one's good. Murray's got 16 points. Murray finding himself in that mid-range position. He doesn't pull a lot from there, but he's capable. Beverly, the pass to Lillard. Here's Portis. Another one falls for Milwaukee. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Denver in the lead. Murray with it. He's got 16. Six on the shot clock. Caldwell Pope, a screen on Lillard. Murray for three. The rebound by the Bucks. Pass to Beverly. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. 157 left in the first half. They now take the lead. Lillard's got 26. You feel like Patrick Beverly has incredible awareness for every second that he plays on the floor. Spots the wide open man, gets it to him. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Six points for him. Outside Porter. Pass to Gordon. Murray against Lillard. 4-3. He's got it. Six of ten now. He's been dropping them in from downtown since the tip. Three triples in the first quarter. Two more since. Beverly, the pass to Beasley. All alone. The rebound by Murray. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. Outside quarter from deep. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fifth assist in this one. They set him up. Porter's going to knock him down. He's a terrific shooter who can do some damage from anywhere. Pass to Lillard. Portis with a screen on Murray. Up top, Portis. Easily for three. And the box hit again from deep. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Outside Murray. Order a screen. Murray with it. Beasley covers. A step back shot. That one off the back iron and out. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You got to play tough, physical defense. Beverly on the wing. Pass to Lillard. And he lobs it up top. Ooh, stolen by Murray. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Nuggets ahead, up one. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit.
Greetings, Shaq, Kenny, and EJ here as we tip off the show with a look at our mid-season Eastern Conference standings. Hey, I was wondering, after the show, you guys doing anything? Well, that depends. Well, I got three free tickets to Golf and Grill. Includes the go-karts, the batting cages, and they got smoked ribs. Why, is this the first time I'm hearing about this? Probably because you don't own the place. Well, coming back to the game of the night, the Bucks find themselves in a close one. They can't seem to force those guys over into a bad shot. No more soft defense. Play it like you mean it, man. If only they had you out there to help them, big fella. Huh? What'd you say? Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. What a game we're seeing from Damian Lillard. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. They're just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at half time. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Giannis and Lopez together down low. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the point. At the line for your Nuggets... Nikola Jokic, two shots. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. Here's Lillard. Jacks up a three. And the Bucks hit again from deep. Well, he can create his own shot. He can spot up off the ball. Lillard can torture defense any which way. Right side, Murray. Here's Jokic. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. The Nuggets have some flat-out scorers on their roster, but head coach Mike Malone said the way we play is pass is king. The ball moves around and everybody benefits. And Brian, it sure helps when your best player, Nikola Jokic, is setting the tone with his incredible court vision. No doubt about that, Allie. Thanks for that. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Murray against Lillard. Lopez, the screen. Four on the clock. The three is up. Jokic showing off the defensive work there. Outstanding and staying in the face of his man. And what's unique about Michael Porter Jr., it's almost impossible to block his jump. Yeah, at six foot ten, Grant, he's got that high release point. How are you going to close out and do anything to disrupt this guy in his shooting window? Nearly impossible from the lead offensive shooter. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Well, for a guy who does a lot of his work on the perimeter, Beasley gets into the painted area. Malik Beasley, one shot. One shot. That's good from Beasley. Well, Beasley has been explosive in some of the roles he's played. And with more responsibility, he's able to score a lot of points in bunches. Now here's Jokic. 
He's got 17. Here's Murray. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. Murray's got 21 points in the game. Yes, but they won drops after the 0 of 3 start. Middleton looking around. Oh, they get a hand on it. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Oh, man, nice jam for Middleton. The veteran swingman understands when to go after dunks like that. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Lillard against Murray. Caldwell Pope, a screen on Lillard. Pass to Porter. Launches a three. Rebounded by the Bucks. On to Kumpo has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Now Lillard, defended by Murray. Beasley, and he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. And Lillard right now at that point guard position has total control of the offense. And so Murray will bring it up for the Nuggets. They trail by six. And here's Jokic, covered by Lopez. Murray finds Gordon. The three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Pass to Middleton. Let's go with a three. Counted from distance. And it's a nine-point Milwaukee lead. And that kind of consistency from Middleton from three, that's huge. Murray passes to Jokic. Shoots over Lopez. Nails the baby hook. Jokic has got 19 points. Oh, yeah, the Joker's running wild. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Gordon against Anadokounmpo. Giannis stomps in and hammers it down. Look out below. <laughs> you got no chance of defending him right there. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Jokic. Outside Murray. Now here's Jokic. Fires from deep. And there's Murray. That one's good. And the assist by Jokic. Murray's got five points now this quarter. Here's Lillard. That's 29 for him. This one for three. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got seven rebounds in the game. Murray against Lopez. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's on Brooke Lopez. Instincts on that play from Murray as he used the defense, who was a little bit over aggressive. Jamal Murray, two shots. And he drops the first. And Jamal Murray more and more has come into his own as a player capable of shouldering the offensive load and being a leader for his team at times. And Murray drops them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Middleton finds Beasley. Back to Middleton. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Clock at six. What a make! Giannis for three! Super confident stroke from Giannis. He's hitting those things. It could be lights out. Denver's gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Pass to Jokic. Count the basket and the foul. That's on Brooke Lopez. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. That's his second personal foul. 13 foul. At the line for Denver, Nikola Jokic. 
One shot. And the free throw, no good. You know, after all these years, Brent, is it possible that Brooke Lopez is still getting better? This guy is going to be the study BA of some research papers in the future. How do you go from a post-up big man to a legitimate three-point threat in the arc of a career? He's been amazing. Fundamental play there from Lopez spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. For Denver, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. Lillard against Murray. Here's Jokic. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The Bucks have gone eight of ten in the third and looking in control. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got rebound number eight now. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Rejected by Lopez. Excellent off ball awareness as Brooke was able to get over there and swat it away. And the Nuggets making a change here. Jackson is checked in. And here are the Nuggets now. Off the inbound, no good. No defender in sight. He tries to take initiative, but ultimately comes away empty-handed. On to Kumpo for three. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Murray passes to Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Now sometimes there's passes, and then there's precision passes. Murray with one of those there. And the Bucks with the possession here. Four-point game. Now a timeout call time by Milwaukee. Start. Beverly, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Already it's February. Let's see how things look out west. Taking a look at Denver. What a season thus far for them. Second place in the conference. You're seeing where the Nuggets are. They just have serious hopes for the outcome of this season. They're focused on putting up a banner. A massive amount of confidence. Tremendous swagger with this team. And they believe in themselves. That might be all it takes to get them where they want to go. Now here's Middleton. 19 points in the game. Fires the three. The rebound by Murray. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Nuggets. Trailing by four. Jackson against Beverly. Jokic the screen. Just five to shoot. Good work defensively by Lopez. Okay. Better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. That was sweet, guys. The hustle, the grit. Didn't back down from pursuing the board at all. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Nimbleness gets Caldwell Pope to his shot, getting around the contact. Murray against Lillard to stop the drought. There's contact, but Lillard slips through. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. For Denver, they've gotten 7 of 15 shots to hit in the second half. Inside. And Jokic throws it down. Oh, Jokic attacking the rim and brings it down hard. Milwaukee has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Honor to Kumpo, the pass to Lillard. Lopez against Jokic, pass to Middleton. Down to five on the shot clock. Lillard finds Lopez. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Lillard's got his fifth assist in this one. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. 
Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Now here's Murray. He's got 26. Jokic up top. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Gordon outside. But outside the arc. Oh my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bucs. What a performance for beyond the arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. They've also put an emphasis on driving inside in this game. The defense hasn't been able to stop them from finding those gaps. Milwaukee in the lead. Anadokounmpo outside. Back to Lillard. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. To the right side. Back to Lillard. Fires for three. And the box hit again from deep. And Giannis showing you we can lead the offense through him. Murray against Lillard. Murray passes to Watson. Now Gordon. Pass to Murray. Rebound, Milwaukee. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Throws it up high and stolen by Murray. Down low. The finish rips down the breakaway slam. Don't sleep on KCP and his quickness. He's skilled at getting out and finishing the break. And Milwaukee shooting about 60% for the game. Lopez, the screen on Murray. Anadokounmpo, outside. The baseline, Jay. Again, the box. Good for two. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Gordon with a screen on Lillard. Murray passes to Gordon. And here's Caldwell Pope. Pass to Gordon. Shot clock at six. Back to Murray. There's the three. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. And Murray shooting with this kind of efficiency. Look how fired up the bench is. Here's Milwaukee. They lead by one. Beverly, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Now here's Lopez. Defended by Gordon. Anadokounmpo for three. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. Denver has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Gordon rejected by Lopez. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lopez for the Nuggets. Najee, he's checked in for Gordon. And Brown subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Crowder comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Jackson, the pass to Watson. Back to Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. And appreciation for Jamal Murray and his athleticism getting all the way up there. And Milwaukee has possession. It's a one-point game. Here's Lillard. Again, the box. Good for two. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Here's Brown. And so far, he's averaging seven points a game. Uh, Mr. Bunny, those are the shots you've got to convert. Double team on Lillard. Portis outside. Lillard passes to Portis. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. And now a three-point Milwaukee lead. And Portis got that shot off really quick. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Najee. Back to Murray. Jackson outside. Clock at two. Let's it go. Offline from the top of the key. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. 
Just a big time effort for Damian Lillard, providing a lot of energy for Milwaukee. Moving the rock and looking for a shot, it's clear he's in a good rhythm. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. They've got Nikola Jokic. Jackson out there with Christian Brown. And it's Watson in at the power forward. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Beasley, that's good. And he can be pretty consistent out there, so the defense is going to have to force Beasley off the line. Jackson, the pass to Jokic. Oh, it's down, Nikola. Great use of the bounce pass. Thumbs down on that one. Tough to defend against. And so it's Lillard who brings up the ball for the Bucks. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Out left to the wing. Jokic against Portis. Just four to shoot. And we see it night in and night out. There are moments in the game where Portis becomes a load to defend. Shooting from Milwaukee. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Portis. And if there's one drawback to Bobby Portis in his game is that emotionally you just want him to box that in at times. But that passion and sometimes will really get your teammates going. He's off on the second. Not a perfect trip to the line, but at least he made this game a two-possession affair. Strother, no good. Milwaukee in the lead. Connaughton outside. Pass to Beasley. Crowder left side. Rebound by the Nuggets. Here's Watson. Here's Jackson, defended by Lillard. Jokic, the screen. Jackson down low, defended by Lillard. Jackson can't get it to go. Takes a 13-footer. Portis, it's good on the putback. And the Bucks lead by seven. Love the pop in Portis' game right now. Superb job hitting the offensive glass. Jackson, pass to Jokic. Back to Jackson, pass to Brown. Here's Jokic. It's good from the top of the key. Jokic has got 15 points in just the second half. Now here's Beasley. He's guarded closely. And here's Connaughton for three. Sinks it from distance. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Jokic with a screen on Lillard. Jackson, pass to Jokic. Here's Brown. Jackson surveying the D. Pass to Jokic. The three ball. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. 
It's on Malik Beasley. Caldwell Pope's checked in for the Nuggets. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for one. Milwaukee has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Timeout called. Milwaukee. The Nuggets making a switch here. Browns checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Anna Kumpo's checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Doc Rivers as he talked with the team. He was clapping in the huddle, saying to his guys, loving the effort right now, keep the intensity on them. Leave no doubt in their mind that this game is ours. Guys, back to you. And Ali, thank you for that. It's good. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. Milwaukee, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Pass to Lillard. Portis outside. Three-pointer, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's iron. Now here's Connaughton. Fades away. And right through it goes! And the Bucks lead by two. Portis not afraid from the mid-range. That's where he can do some work. Here's Jackson. Kumpo grabs the board. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Beasley, the pass to Lillard. And the Bucks getting another bucket right there. Malik Beasley. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Brown. To the left side wing. Jackson outside. Another three for Denver. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Lillard against Jackson. Lillard deciding where to go with it. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. The Nuggets have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. And the Bucks pushing it up now. Dave makes his move. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, wow. wow. Another reminder that Damian Lillard can be explosive, and we love it. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. The Nuggets trail. Jackson outside. And the dunk by Jackson. Get up there, young fella. Sometimes as a point guard, you got to take it yourself. 
Well, it's okay to be selfish when you can flush it like that. Well, if he's calling his own number, there's a reason for it. There you respect the decision-making from him out there. Nails it from beyond the arc. You know, this is one of those nights Bobby Portis is feeling it. And here's Jackson. Jokic with a screen on Lillard. Pass to Jokic. It's tipped. Caldwell Pope against Beasley. Four on the clock. There's Jackson with the three. The rebound by Beasley. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Lillard with the ball. Over Jokic. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got 11 rebounds in the game. Jackson outside. Jokic with a screen on Lillard. Jackson against Lillard. From 11 feet away, Jackson gets the bucket. And Jackson has no problem trying to find some space in the mid-range. He'll take all of those. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Right wing. Portis against Jokic. Portis' shot is off. Great contest of the shot. Kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. Jackson gets the bucket. Letting the defense knock him off balance. Reggie does a great job just being assertive. And the Bucks with the possession here. Over to the wing. Portis against Jokic. Beasley outside. Let's the three fly. And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. Timeout called. The Nuggets. For the Nuggets. Gordon, he's checked in for Watson. Michael Porter comes in for Brown. And Jamal Murray is subbed in for Jackson. The Bucks making a switch here. Now here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. Three-pointer. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Jokic has got seven now in this quarter. Nice stroke on the quick shot by Jokic. Not giving the defense any chance to come over and disrupt. Lopez, the screen on Murray. For three, here's Lillard. Denver grabs the miss. Porter's got six rebounds in the game. Outside Murray. And that misses. That would have put him up. For Milwaukee, they've gotten eight of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Beasley against Porter. Middleton is doubled. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got rebound number seven tonight. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. And they take the lead. Murray's got 14 points now in the second half. Well, that's a crafty finish around the basket. Murray fearing nobody on that possession. Milwaukee has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. Murray against Lillard. From downtown, connects again from distance. He's got this defense scrambling. Even when they've got two guys on him, he finds a way to get to space. And he's making some team history. He just tied the franchise record for three-pointers in a single game. Sends it home from three-point land. And the Nuggets lead by two. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Beasley against Caldwell Pope. Lillard outside. Pass to Lopez. Anadokounmpo outside to the paint. Then it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Anadokounmpo. Wow, Lopez stepping up. What confidence from the big fella. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. 
Murray passes to Caldwell Pope. Jokic the screen. Caldwell Pope with it. And Lopez picks him up. Rejected by Lopez. Lillard outside. Let's it go from deep. Good! Another from three. And he's now set the team record for most threes in a single game. What a shot he's got. A lot of it stems from his confidence. Even when he misses, he's sure the next one's going in. Inside. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. So reliable with the ball in his hands. Caldwell Pope wanted that shot, and he got it. A minute 50 left to play in the fourth quarter. To the inside. A big time flush by Giannis. Oh, so exciting to see the growth of the Greek freak. There are shots that stars sink, and that's a momentum changer right there. Hanada Kumpo has gotten most of his shots to fall. He's six of nine. Murray for three. Giannis Hanada Kumpo grabs the board. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Lillard. And there's the lob. Hey, great communication on the lob. Only a few big guys in this league that can score at will. Giannis is one of them. And the Nuggets shooting an efficient 57% tonight. To the middle. There's a minute 12 left in the fourth. Lopez passes to Beasley. Giannis power in. As Giannis has grown in his physical stature, widening those shoulders, having more strength, these are the kind of plays that make all that hard work pay off. Denver has gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Caldwell Pope, a screen on Lillard, to the left wing. They kick it out to Murray. Pass to Gordon. Caldwell Pope against Beasley. Clock at six. Jokic. the lead to just five. Look, Jokic continues to get confidence. He is becoming that guy for this team. Here's Ana de Kumpo. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Lillard double team. Ana de Kumpo with it. Checked by Gordon. And so they foul intentionally. That's his first personal foul. 13 points. Shooting for Milwaukee. Giannis Ana de Kumpo. Taking two shots. Good on the first, and that increases the lead to six. hits both free throws here and it's a seven point game free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead now a timeout called by Denver they trail by seven 34 seconds left in the final quarter your thoughts guys not much time left you think they have a chance to come back Finds Caldwell Pope. Murray with it. Defended by Lillard. Right side Porter. Murray against Lillard. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul and he'll take two free throws now. That's on Brooke Lopez. And there are signs from Jamal Murray that we have seen as one of those fearless players. Jamal Murray. Two shots.
First free throw is good. And that trims the lead to six. And Murray drops them both. And so they choose to intentionally foul. At the line for the Bucks, Malik Beasley, two shots. Shooting two. He gets the first. And that increases the lead to six. And so he drops them both. And it's a seven-point game. Now a timeout called by Denver. They're losing by seven. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Murray tries a three off the inbound and he sinks it and now they trail by just four yeah this game is not over when Jamal Murray is still able to play yeah no you had to do that I mean you can't allow them to dribble out the time at the line for the Bucks, Malik Beasley taking two shots oh, take a break take a break two shots He hits the first one, and that puts him up five. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Murray finds Jokic. Back to Murray. Fires the three. Milwaukee with the rebound. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Shooting from Milwaukee, Damian Lillard. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. For his career, Damian Lillard, one of the best free throw shooters in the history of the league. And he gets there a lot, too. And so both free throws good. And it's an eight-point ball game. So we see the Bucks get the win here. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Dame, you routinely make shots that most players would not even attempt. What enables you to have that kind of confidence? Sometimes in the summer, I work on the craziest things. You know, you never know what type of situation you're going to be in. Um, you got to be prepared for it. You know, so I've worked on my fair share of crazy shots. Uh, crazy passes and you know you don't make a high percentage of them uh, but I made one tonight practice makes perfect thanks so much Dame thanks Ali great interview once again and that's going to do it tonight folks for our broadcast so alongside Grant Hill Ali LaForce Brent Barry and our entire 2K crew I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching as New Balance presents our player of the game Damian Lillard